the petty partisan bickering and the finger pointing. It's time to focus on how to solve the problems. My best friend, the best partner anybody could ever have in their life. This was a really tough campaign. And we only won because of that message and because of all of you. So listen, you want to take the country back from the people who are trying to divide it? Are you with me in that fight? Stop running around for Trump and start running the country. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out early today. Just wanted to. Uh... Because if I leave, they win. If I leave, the bullies take place. This is bullying. The, rep, the chair of the committee putting out a motion to expel, just introducing it and not calling its privilege, was designed to force me to resign. But he didn't even have the fortitude to go ahead and call the privilege. He had someone else do it, someone who's actually just recently done one on me, which is Congressman Diaz-Fazito. So the reality of it is it's all theater. It's theater for the cameras. It's theater for the microphones. It's theater for the American people at the expense of the American people because no real work's getting done. I will be filing, I will be filing a slew of complaints uh, in the coming hours uh, of today and tomorrow to make sure that we keep the, the playing field even because at this point I have been nothing but generous and kind with my time. I have not raised my voice or a single finger against a single other member of this body. But now I guess it's fair game to continue to do that. But Jamal Bowman gets a pass. That's why today at noon, I'm going to be introducing a privileged motion for expulsion of convicted and uh, guilty pleaded uh, Congressman Jamal Bowman. And uh, I stand there, I think that that's consistency. Let's hold our own accountable, but let's make sure that we do it with the president of the House. Now, if the House wants to start different precedent and expel me, that is going to be the undoing of a lot of members of this body because this will haunt them in the future where mere allegations are sufficient to have members removed from office when duly elected by their people in their respective states and districts. So. So if I am to get expelled tomorrow, I will be number six in the history, the first Republican and the only one without a conviction or without being part of a, uh, or without having committed treason. And patted my office probably later today. Thank you.